By now, I was ready to cool down by the sea. And what better place than Norma's at the Wharf House, where Chef Norma Shirley showed us another aspect of Jamaican cooking. Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to do a curried lobster that we do in the island. We melt some butter, say about two tablespoons of butter. Make sure that the butter doesn't burn. And to this we're going to add, and I can, I'm going to use my hands, because I think hands are here to be used. We're going to put some scallions, a generous amount of scallions. We're going to put some garlic, which I have creamed with a little olive oil or you can just use any vegetable oil and mix that in. And also, you're going to put some curry powder. Let's put about a teaspoon and a half, and we have the Madras curry powder. Tell me about the Madras curry powder. Well, it's from, it's, it's from India. It comes from, from Madras in India, and it's quite a much more spicy. If you could smell this, you could smell the flavor that's coming off from it. It's great. And you, we're going to put this on and just sort of saute it for a couple of seconds, really. Then to this now, we're going to add the, what we know as a scotch bonnet pepper, which I'll show you one of them in its real form, this. Okay. And this is a chopped up. Now, we're just going to put a little bit of the scotch bonnet pepper in. It's been cut. Try not to use the seeds, as what happened with the seeds is that the seeds give a much more hotter flavor. And really, you want some heat, but what you want, you don't want that such heat that you, for heaven's sake, you're, you're just burning your tongue and you've, you're not really enjoying your meal. And I'm going to add a couple shells of fresh thyme. This is, to me, this is the queen of spice. This is wonderful, and I'm just going to take some of the leaves off. We added a little bit of water, or chicken stock if, if you rather that, to give it a little bit more liquid in it. And to this now, we're going to blend this. We're going to blend it, I'm just going to put it in a blender, and blend it till it's smooth. Consistency is coating the back of your spoon, see? See? I created it myself. Because I find that what happens is lobster become too rubbery. So I make the sauce and then put the lobster in. People tend to be cooking the lobster as they're making the sauce. So the lobster gets overcooked and becomes terribly rubbery. And what you want to do is to have the lobster still quite succulent, you know, um, maybe even to the point of being underdone because as you know that shell food really gets rubbery if they're overcooked. Well, most anything. Now here we have some lobster. And what I've done is taken it out of the shell and just cut them in sort of nugget sized pieces. And we're just gonna drop this in, bits of lobster. This is enough for two people. And we're just going to gently, just going to turn the lobster, literally just turning the lobster over in, in this sort of marinade or sauce, whatever you want to call it. We're going to just let it cook. Here is the elegant finished dish, curried Jamaican lobster with Otaheite apples. I just came in out of the rain store. It was pouring out there, but uh, you've been cooking here, I see. Yes, we have some wonderful lobster. Oh, I'm great. sorry about the rain. Oh, no, the rain's wonderful. It makes the would beautiful like Jamaican... Would you taste? Oh, yes, I sure would. Oh, I love curry. I love lobster. And I is love your curry. No, it's perfect. Good. And the, what kind of apple is this? Oh, Tahiti. Tahiti. Comes from Tahiti. I'm yeah. not quite sure if Columbus brought it over. I know it's not Captain Bly. Uh -huh. He brought the breadfruit over. Right. And the ackee, too. And the ackee, yes. Oh, that's great. 